Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing something from Star Wars. Yes, these are the AAT tanks. Both from the Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, and Star Wars The Clone Wars. This is the Trade Federation, AAT. The Star Wars The Clone Wars, AAT. And the Separatist Geonosis, AAT. This did not show up in the movie. And... For future reference, I don't have the fourth AAT, which is from Clone Wars. But I have these three in particular. Yeah, I'm glad to have these. And what do these AATs do? Well, they, they roll, like rolling things should. And we got a droid pilot in it, a commander for the Trade Federation AAT, AAT, not AAT, sorry I have to correct myself, AAT, and we got a commander, commander droid, and a pilot droid piloting the tank. And we got another droid right here. There's a button that you press. I'm going to show that off. And he sends the droid flying like he got hit. He's like, ah, I'm going off, off camera. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Now we set it back up the way it's supposed to. Put the pilot droid back in the cock cockpit. And yeah, that's pretty cool of a gimmick. That's why I love the AAT tanks. They have a few gimmick items. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, connect. Connect for me, buddy. Connect. There we go. And that's it for the first tank. Now we're going to look at the second tank, which is the Battle of Geonosis. AAT. Barrels. Double barrel cannons can go up, down. They can totally blast you from different angles, and you can totally be like, pew, pew. That's a Republic vehicles. You can fire some missiles. These fire missiles. I'm trying not to lose my missiles. And we got a Geonosis Commander. Sorry if this is a bit dusty. It sits on my shelf for a while, so I really had to, didn't think to dust it off. Got a Commander in the cockpit. A B-1 droid in the driver's seat. And we got a Battle Droid molded in there, just like the... The, uh... Trade Federation tank. And does this one go off? I guess not. <laughs> but he totally... The droid just there just got shot. He's like, yeah. Oh, I've been shot. What a horrible way to go out for a B1. <laughs> and now we're going to connect this back into place. And it can fire a missile. Pretty nice, if I do say so myself. And we're done with AAT number two. Now we're going to look at the one from Star Wars. The Clone Wars. This is one of my favorite ones. And this one does have a droid pilot in it. In the tank barrel. And it's a commander. So you can be like... Prepare to die, Republic Dogs, for the glory of the Separatist Alliance. That's my battle droid imitation. And he can totally go pew pew with that big cannon. 
And these can go just like the other ones can. Go pew pew, pew pew, scatter some infantry. But this can come open just like the other three. And we got a green droid driving. And he's like, I'm going to shoot some Republic dogs and going to run them over. <laughs> and this is a, clone, a green Clone Wars battle droid. Sorry if I have to correct myself again. But you can totally do the same thing just like the other tanks. And the droid in the back just like, Oh, I've been shot. Oh, what a world. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> and this can fire not just one missile, but it fires a total of four. I don't have many missiles for the others. But yeah, they can fire off missiles and destroy some Republic infantry with those missiles built in. Now I'm going to put the missiles back in as soon as I can get them nice and plugged in. I've wanted to do these for a while, but they're a pain in the neck to get back in the plug-in place. You're probably wondering, where did I get these tanks from? Well, I got them from Still City Con in Monroeville, here in good old Pennsylvania. I can't remember how much I paid for these, but I've had them for a while. And they are nice tanks for army building. If you, if I do say so myself, sorry. Ooh, another correction moment. <laughs> But yeah, are these worth adding to a Star Wars collection? I'd say yes. If you love the different variants of the Separatist tank, better known as the AAT tanks, pick them up. You won't regret it. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. <laughs>